Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the weekly video where I look at my plans for the next game week, which is actually game week one of next season. And I don't quite have all the details I need to give an exact view of my team, but I'll tell you what I can, <laughs> what my current plans are. But to start with, let's see what happened in the previous game week, which was game week 38. So as always, we start by looking at who the top scorer was in the Midnight Mule Mini League. And it was Yassine Romani with their team Free Palestine with 109 points. That was managed with treble captain Foden getting 45 points. Isaac 14, Pedro Porro 14, Dello 15, Sun 7, Palmer 6. And that's all. And on the bench, nothing. That was a very good score. So well done. That was brilliant. Top of our league and the winner, because it's game week 38, was Ziad Bram with Tien Guna with 59 points. Globally, they were 1,228 in the end, out of nearly 11 million users. As you'll see later, there are only two content creators that beat that score. So a big well done. And if I was able to send you some sort of little present, I would do. But I don't think realistically I can. But a big well done anyway. So let's look at the team. That was with Foden 15, Pedro Porro 14, Sun 7, Palmer 6, Havert 6. Captain Harland 4 and that's all. And on the bench, Isaac for 14. But to be fair, there were rumours that Isaac may not be starting. So there were a lot of people put Isaac on the bench. And then some of those jammy people were playing Saka. Saka didn't play as so Isaac came on. But not the case for Tienguna and not the case for me. As for me, I'm all the way down in 117th. I also got 59 points. That was with Foden 15, Robertson 8, Palmer, Havertz and Trent all got six. Hoyland got seven. Captain Harland four. And then on my bench, this is the biggest bench score I've had all season. 30 points on the bench. <laughs> Would have been a good week to bench boost. So Isaac 14 on the bench. So that was obviously a mistake. And Dallow for 15, which was a mistake, but completely understandable. And Pickford got the one to make it 30. So that was a lot of fun. It's about having fun. Having a good bench. <laughs> that was funny. So it was a red arrow this week. I finished on a red and 187,500 totally globally, which is all right as we look at later. So there I am. I'm 37 from 100k. I'm 350 from top spot. But with no game weeks left, I'm probably not going to win it this season. But what's interesting, if you look at where I am to say the 5k mark, that's 143 points. And go back the way to a million is 145 points. So I'm kind of as close to 1 million as I am to 5k. And if you look above the 5k, anyone around the 5k mark is actually closer to my score than being top. So just be aware of that. If you see people online posting their rank and you get a little bit jealous or something like that, some sort of negative emotion, just remember that it's all crunched up and there really aren't many points between the ranks. So the more important thing is to just have fun, in my opinion. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos and subscribes and likes, leave comments, etc. That was great. Thank you. So in the cup, what's happened? We were watching Salami Osama with Algerian and they were playing Boyd Revel with Boyd's Boys. And it was Boyd's Boys who won. So congratulations. They won the Midnight Mule Cup. Once again, I wish I could send you something, but realistically, I can't. Let's look at their team. That was Foden with 15, Isaac with 14, Sun with 7, Palmer 6, Elise 6, Havert 6, Captain Harland 4. And then on the bench, nothing. In the Silly Fantasy Challenge, I say silly because hardly anyone plays it, top this week was Arunan Srirangan, and I realise I've completely butchered the name probably, with Runez 11 with a massive 107 points. So that was very well done. Captain Foden 30. Mateta 20, Isaac 14, Pedro Porro 14, Trent 6, Doughty 5, Havertz 6, Palmer 6. And then on the bench, nothing. The Content Creators League, the winner this season was FPL Fran. And he was at the FPL meets yesterday and it was nice seeing him get excited when his boys were scoring points. And he also got very excited when Arsenal conceded a goal because he didn't have any Arsenal players at the back. And he finished overall rank of 437 globally. It was very good. So he just beat, in the end, Ben Krellin by five points. Well done, Ben, for getting second. The north on this page is Harry, who fell down to seventh. But that is still a very good score. Harry 
was just outside the 5,000 rank this season. So just to say how those guys all did in the last three years, Fran has been in the top 100,000 for the last three years, which is exceptionally good. Ben's been in the top 7,000 the last three years. And Harry's been in the top 4,000 the last three years. So it'd be very interesting next season to see if these three are top again and who's going to come out on top overall. As for me, I'm all the way down in 58th, which is slightly above Holly, but it's below Heisenberg, Nymphria and Mate. Now, Nymphria says she's not going to be doing any FPL content next season, but she does do Ultimate Champions, which is a game kind of nothing like FPL, and you get to win money in it. And I've been playing it a year, thanks to Nymphria, and it's very good, and I like it. So I'm just saying that in case you're over 18 and you want to have some fun. I did try So Rare as well, and Ultimate Champions is way better than So Rare, in my opinion. So goal. So my goal for this current season, 2024, is... To have some fun and i did have some fun <laughs> i hope you can tell i've enjoyed this season and the goal number two was last season i finished around the nine percent rank now i've got a series called finish top five percent but i wasn't following that i was just making fun transfers and everyone who was following the top five percent series that i was aware of following it they all finished in the top five percent so i thought this season try something new i'm going to follow my own series which is very restrictive because there's only a few players you can choose from but the idea was I'd finish in the top 5% and I did. I finished in the top 2%. So it worked. So I achieved my goal. So I'm happy with that. Now, next season, my number one goal is to have more fun. <laughs> There's no reason to think that's not going to happen. And one way that that may happen in game week one is maybe I'll get Vardy. <laughs> he's back. I know he's going to be old. I know he's only going to come for a few minutes. And maybe I'll make it ultimate fun. Maybe he's going to be my captain for game week one, but we don't even have the fixtures yet. So if the first game is against Man City away, I probably won't captain Vardy. But like I said, it's about having fun. And goal number two, in the Content Creators League, I'd have been 58 this season, which turns out I'd be in the top 75%, i.e. I only beat 25% of the Content Creators. Next season, my goal is to be in the top 33% of the Content Creators, so I don't care what my rank is. I just want to be in the top third according to that league. So if we translate that to what it would have been this year, I'd have had to be 26th, which is where Andy from Let's Talk FPL finished. And I think with a bit of good luck and planning, but mostly luck, I think that's doable. So that's my goal. As for the background picture, it's a couple of tractors playing football. Why? Because the tractor boys are back in the Premier League, the Ipswich Town Football Club. Now, I used to play the Telegraph football, fancy football, and back in 2000, 2001, Ipswich had a striker called Marcus Stewart, and he broke the game a little bit, like Palmer has this season. He was very, very cheap, and he got loads of points. And the way we were playing it at the time, there was only one Marcus Stewart in the league, and the person who had it just won the league. And it was just ridiculous. So a lot of fun. But anyway, welcome back, Ipswich, to the Premier League. So there we have it. That's what happened in game week 38 and then my plans for the coming season, which I think starts on August the 16th. Now, I do actually have a strategy in place. I know overall what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to share those details now. I'll talk about it in a few weeks' time. Now, regarding the summer, I'm not going to do any content regarding the Euros fantasy, but I intend to be playing it. But I will put out a couple of noddy videos about FPL, just general stuff. And if you don't want to watch it, that's absolutely fine. I just need to put a couple of videos out to keep YouTube happy because otherwise YouTube's going to get a bit uppity. Thank you very much to anyone who's been watching any of these videos during the season. And I hope you enjoy having a few weeks off. Thanks. Bye. <music>